My name is Yanni. I'm the creator of Fishmansbelly.com, and today I'm excited as can be. I've got a locally caught brute. This is a wonderful yellowtail. I don't know, 25, 30 pounds. I've been given some fillet knives by Gerber. We're going to fillet up this yellowtail. We're going to extract the collars, something that gets thrown overboard all the time. I'm going to tell you and show you what the loins are. I'm going to show you where the belly is, and I'm going to talk about what I do with the back portion, the tail portion of meat on this yellowtail. As soon as I'm done filleting, we're going to be eaten. So hang on, here we go. Okay, so we're at the head right here. Believe it or not, here's the backbone and here's the head. There is a chunk of meat, a triangular chunk of meat right in here that we're gonna actually extract. Here's the backbone. I'm gonna insert my knife right here at the starting point and I'm gonna feel for the bone. I wish you guys could feel it, but you can see my knife, it's stopping. All right, that's because I'm right on the main spine and I'm gonna use that as a guide for my cut all the way down the line. I've got a nice clean cut all the way to the top. I'll take this, make a diagonal cut here at the tail, run this knife and go and head straight for the bone, the backbone, and I can feel it, okay? So now that I've got that tucked as a reference point, I'll start cutting parallel to this group of bones here, and there's a big one sitting right there, and I'll cut my way all the way to the belly. Start back here, here we go. And then I'll tuck my knife around here and I'll follow the gill plate all the way to the top of the head. All the way to the top of the head, bingo. So now it's time to yank this fillet right off. Now, believe it or not, I follow the contours of the bone. So I don't do this fast. I rock my knife back and forth following the contours of the bone. That way I didn't leave any meat on the bone. And that's a technique you guys should be using. After all, we put a lot of time and effort and money into catching these wonderful fish and these are the tastiest things in the water so just take your time and effort and do a good job filleting and you'll get as much meat off the bone as you possibly can all right it's time to clean up the loin first thing we'll do is we'll take the skin off okay we'll start down here I come in at an angle my 10 inch knife is the knife to use in this circumstance is because I'm not cutting this perpendicularly if I was cutting this perpendicularly I would just need this amount of knife but I'm cutting it on an angle so you can see I need a lot more knife. And the reason I'm doing that is so that I can feel as I cut and I can put my pressure on this side of the knife and not worry about that side of the knife. Wow, look at that. Perfect. Oh, that knife did a great job. Look at that. Now tell me, doesn't that look delicious? Look at that. I'm going to cut on the bias. There's another piece. There's another piece. Wow, look at that. Perfect. Let's skin the tail portion, all right? Keep my fingers down on the skin, and I don't have to get quite to the skin. See how that long knife, see what that does? Is it gives me control on both top and bottom. These are your lateral lines, and this blood makes these fish fight super hard. All right, you guys, let's tackle the belly, the absolute yummiest portion of the yellowtail. Okay, so here's one rib bone, and I'm just gonna barely, and I love this sharp tip of this knife, I'm just going to barely cut into the surface because I don't want to damage too much meat as I'm going after these bones. Here's another rib bone, okay? I'm following the contours of the bone, tip of that knife, and I'm going to take it off. See how I follow that? And at the same time, I'm also taking care of this lining. Some of this lining is getting removed. There's all the bones. Take a look at that. And now I'm going to get the outer perimeter of this skin. Look at that. That's perfect. Yellowtail belly, look how clean that is. There are so many ways to cook this up. Somebody just asked me about yellowtail fishing and if yellowtail can get caught this time of year. Absolutely. We are transitioning from the summer to the winter, so we're in the fall. And what's happening is the high pressure summer is giving way to the low pressure winter. And that translates into pressure differentials in the water that the bait follow. Right now it's a great time of year to hunt for yellowtail in the mid column. As we get closer and closer to January and February, that's where you're gonna be hunting for them on the bottom. So that's just a tip from me to you on yellowtail fishing. Let's get going and extracting these collars. I've got half the job done. Let's tackle the rest of it. Here we go. So here's part of a collar. Take a look at what we're looking at here, right? I've got it. Here's the gill plate line, and we're going to be using this gill plate line. We follow that line parallel to the apex up here, and now we're going to continue to make our cut so we can cut this portion out right here. Look how clean. All right, and here's our collar. Let's finish cutting it away. I'm going to follow the contours. 
Still one little bone, so I'm gonna take a pair of scissors here and cut this bone. Ah, there we go. All right, you guys, here we are. We've got our medallions from our loins, and here are the collars. But right now, I'm gonna salt these fish liberally. I'm also gonna put some olive oil on them, and then I'm gonna throw them on this griddle. Oh my God. And then when they're cooked, then I'm gonna serve up a little tropical salsa on them. There's my limes, and here's my lid. All right, so the medallions have just come off the grill. Wow, look at that. Mango, tomato, pineapple, cilantro. Check this out, look at that. Tell me that's not gonna make you hungry. I wanna thank you for spending time with me today. Again, my name is Yanni, I'm with Fisherman's Belly. I hope that you picked up some tips and tricks on what to do and how to fillet a yellowtail so that you can get the most meat off the bone that you can and to use different portions of the yellowtail for different meals. Thanks, guys.